So we get in the cab, and we wander around in the dark for a while, and eventually, as you can see on the map, we figure out that we're going from the hotel out to where Thomas Bo Peterson's house is. So to understand the dinner, you have to understand who was there. Here we see the three VIPs, and each will make a contribution to the dinner. And let's start with Thomas Bo Peterson. Thirty-three years ago, a young Danish journalist was determined to apply for a visa to Vietnam. Jackson and Kathleen. I know, yeah. And another Catherine. Okay. There's a lot of that going around. There's three Davids, two Larrys, and four Catherines on our group. Or she's Kathleen. We'll get some more. We turn now to Vietnam and one American veteran's mission back to the country to help save those he once fought. Special correspondent Mike Saray reports. I'm Chuck Searcy. I'm from Athens, Georgia. When I came to Vietnam in 1967, I couldn't find Vietnam on a map. Came here because I'm a veteran of the war and uh, ended up staying working on humanitarian projects related to the consequences of the war, which is unexploded ordnance. The seriousness of the unexploded ordnance situation in Vietnam is, is beyond what most Americans could imagine. The real challenge in Vietnam is not how to clean up every bomb and mine, but how to make Vietnam safe. But that does not mean that every bomb and mine needs to be cleaned up. It means that people have to understand the problem they have to be part of the process of solving the problem, which is to know how to call in explosive ordnance disposal teams that will come immediately and clean up the ordnance that they found. So we're at this ambassador's house, and you can see that we're looking at... <laughs> Her father came back from Vietnam when she was only two and a half years old, but from what I have heard of her, uh, Vietnam has been with, with, with uh, Sibyl and her family all their life, uh, and uh, we'll see if she want to say something about it. Uh, I will leave that to Sibyl. Then I also want to introduce uh, a long time... I have heard rumors that, uh, can I say, our ambassador would say a few words, but then maybe everybody would want to have something on their plate first, and then whatever you want to take the floor, if the rumor is true. The rumor is true, but I think your idea about people having some food on their plates first is a very good idea. You never want to stand between <laughs> guests and their dinner. And, and this is going to be quite military style, so we start with table three, and, and let you go first on the buffet, the closest most locals will ever come to a U.S. ambassador abroad is a passing motorcade or a heavily staged official event. But given the tortured relations between the United States and Vietnam over the years, U.S. Ambassador Ted Osius is dispensing with traditional protocols to help create a new reference point on U.S.-Vietnam relations. His mission in Vietnam started with a 1,200-mile bike ride the length of the country as a U.S. consular officer in 1995. 
soon after official relations between the two countries were restored. His bike diplomacy continues to be his signature style for interacting with the Vietnamese people, as well as local government officials. 18. For Ambassador Osius, human rights begins at home. I'm white, my husband's black, and our kids are brown. Uh, so we represent, I think, you know, one of the things that's really great about America. Ambassador Osius isn't the first gay U.S. ambassador, but he and his spouse, Clayton Bond, have become very visible leaders of the LGBT movement in the diplomatic corps. Be very gentle. Because my family and I are visible, we do more by example than through just talking. We show that you can be a same-sex couple and raise children and do it successfully. For anyone who thinks that the ambassador's sexuality is a distraction, I think they should come here and see how it's being embraced by people. Nguyen Queen. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to Thomas for, for having all of us here. It's a, it's a wonderful concept uh, to bring together people who are new to this country with people who know uh, quite a bit about this country. And I'm not talking about myself here. I'm talking about, uh, for example, my friend Chuck, uh, who knows a great deal. You too. You too. Well, but, but uh, Chuck Searcy, who's been here for a very long time, who knows a great deal. Thomas, who knows a great deal. Hip, who obviously uh, knows a great deal. Big, who knows a great deal. Uh, Bayan and, and Sybil, who know a great deal about this country. Uh, and Larry Lipti. <laughs> Who's taking a picture? Uh, who knows a great deal about this country? Um, and, and I think bringing together uh, storytellers, which is what all of you here in cameras are, uh, with people who I think can give you a context for the stories that you're about to see. The meeting with Prime Minister Phạm Văn Đồng, Foreign Minister Nguyễn Cơ Thạch at the time, as well as the rustic citizen, made a deep impression in that's the relationship after a few times about to leave. Thomas Bo Peterson has now lived for 15 years in Vietnam as CEO of Mascot Vietnam. Also because of a great love, Thomas Bo Peterson is especially interested in giving a lecture about Vietnam, either the image of an Ong Tê taking various delegations to visit historical sites and presenting in detail at the same time, or official presentations which last for hours about any Vietnam-related topic, has become an essential hobby in the... In this segment, we focused on three men and their love of Vietnam and how they have spent, each of them, most of their adult life seeking to improve the lives of the people that they have met from Agent Orange or unexploded ordnance. Each, in their own way, has found fulfillment in Vietnam. You can't escape it now. You need to move into focus. That's right. You need to do it. Right? You need to do it. What does the tattoo say? Beautiful. Absolutely. Wow. 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 Vietnam. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Beautiful. Wow.